Welcome to the Solar Butterfly, not the studio this time, we are in front of the Solar Ride and I'm here with Mart from, uh, from uh, Estonia, we are right now in Tartu and yeah, can you tell us a little bit about your Solar Ride? Yeah, so basically Solar Ride started uh, at the beginning of 2020 um, when two students got the idea that they wanted to build a car and uh, then uh, we decided to build a, a solar car for the uh, Australian uh, uh, Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. So yeah, then this car, uh, we finished this in 2021. It's the first solar car in the Baltics and uh, a, a team of uh, basically bachelor students uh, and also some from like a gymnasium uh, uh, built this. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, and now you are like a university project, right? Uh, well, yeah, we, we actually are not a part of like one university that uh, usually other uh, solar teams are, but uh, we, are, we have uh, five partner universities uh, from Estonia uh, and, and also like some other schools uh, joining. Uh, so uh, we take uh, in uh, engineers, uh, marketing people, finance people from everywhere around Estonia. This team um, is uh, led like a company, right? So that the students and people that are part of the team they can uh, gain experience like um, of a company-like structure yeah. if they are still students. Yeah. Um, and also, you are not just, um, of course, you need engineers and such if you have like a, a solar ride like this. Um, but also you have uh, part of the team are some uh, like social studies people, right? How does this fit into uh, this concept? Yeah, exactly. Uh, like you said, we, we are kind of uh, like a, a small company uh, that like is a, develops some kind of an engineering product. So we have our engineering team that is around 30 uh, people. Then we have a quite a big marketing team that is like 30 more people. And then we have finance, uh, HR and operations like uh, fields also that are a bit smaller teams around like 10 people each. So, so yeah, we, we like to operate uh, with them and it, it, it's been uh, quite a struggle to, uh, you know, combine um, engineers with like these uh, social study people because they speak two different languages. Yeah. It's, it's quite often difficult for them to understand each other, get along and so on. But I think uh, this is one of the um, like problems that is around uh, all uh, companies that are in the technology sector. Uh, you know, in order to be successful, you need all of these different people to work together. And, and here we like to, you know, try it out and, and give, give uh, these young students the first uh, taste uh, how, how it feels like and how to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's always important to like have the whole structure, right? If you have yeah. a good product, but you can't really uh, um, show it to anybody, then yeah, it's not, not yeah. going to work out. Exactly, we like to call it uh, interdisciplinary uh, problem learning. That's a very uh, cool word for it. Yeah, and the goal is also like for for the students and um, yeah, to be part of the project like this and learn, uh, but also to uh, inspire inspire people with like a cool cool car like this going how fast is this going if it's uh... the top speed that we have achieved is uh, 8 98 kilometers per hour uh, so it drives like a regular car uh, speed wise uh, and uh, yeah the, the the idea with this uh, project is to you know uh, make engineering more popular mostly in, in Estonia because there is a big crisis uh, regarding that uh, and also um, we want to you know uh, invite other people uh, like not only engineers to come into the technology technology sector to for them to make it uh, interesting for them so that that's why we do it okay nice and you've been part of a couple of competitions with this right or yeah uh, uh, one competition we went to uh, morocco back in 2021 because australia got cancelled due to covid and uh, yeah it was uh, cool but uh, for us we didn't compete with anyone there because we were the only like cruiser class car there. Uh, no one else uh, in the world competed uh, with a cruiser class car that year. Uh, and uh, uh, we also had uh, quite a bit of uh, struggles with the weight of the car and the Moroccan uh, like uh, uh, basically highways and the hills that are there in the Atlas uh, mountains. Uh, but yeah, we competed there and, and uh, basically 
got the first st first, first taste of um, this uh, competition, what it's like, the scrutineering uh, and all of that. Okay, yeah. How far can you go um, with this? Uh, with uh, with uh, this car, you can go with only the battery around 650 kilometers. And uh, when it's uh, sunny outside, uh, then you can add around 150 kilometers to that. So 800 kilometers like with a full battery and then you would need to charge it or just stay in one very sunny spot for like 24 hours then you would be good to go once again okay but that's very impressive i think um, that's uh yeah you know, when do you need to get 600 kilometers? yeah so how fast are you going then uh, well we, we we cruise around like 80 kilometers oh, an hour okay so yeah it's, yeah far and wide and yeah exactly it's really really good where can we find you on the internet at uh, solaride.ee uh, uh, that's uh, where you can follow us facebook instagram all that stuff okay yeah very interesting project and uh, also like really fast actually and long distance i yeah. expected less to be honest uh, yeah thank you very much thank you very much uh, till next time in the solar butterfly studio goodbye